Arwa Damon in Raqqa, Syria, and this is CNN. Live from the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Julia Chatterley. This is First Move, and here's your need to know. Three's company, Canada joining the U.S. and Mexico in a NAFTA deal rewrite. Lights out, GE gives John Flannery the boot, appointing a new CEO and chairman. And Tesla charging up, the stock bounces as Elon Musk secures a deal with regulators. It's Monday, let's make a move. Welcome once again to the show and the first move for markets this morning is higher boosted as you can imagine by the agreement of a NAFTA deal Canada remaining on board despite the fears auto stocks very much in play this morning too and we'll watch to see how they open up but obviously boisted buoyed by the details the contours of this trade deal too obviously it's the new month it's the first day of the fresh quarter as well and oh boy did we have a buoyant third quarter the Dow gaining 9%. Year to date now up 7%. So the Dow seriously needed the strong performance that we got. There was also an interesting statistic in Barron's over the weekend too, saying the fourth quarter of a midterm election year to, to tends to be among some of the best performances that we see in the four-year election cycle. The question is, will that be the same this time around? No doubt we'll talk about that a lot. But for now, Dollar Canada and Dollar Mexico, look at the cross rates. They're telling the story here too of optimism Canada and Mexico the currencies bouncing in light of that trade deal agreement and that's where we're going to begin the drivers as I mentioned President Trump Justin Trudeau reaching that last minute minute before midnight deal on the revamped NAFTA US farmers getting greater access to uh, Canada's dairy markets allaying concerns about auto tariffs too and some agreement over resolving trade disputes Paula Newton joins me now Paula we've had a dose a healthy dose of skepticism where uh, this deal was concerned and you always said it was going to come down to President Trump's desire whether or not to get a deal done here. Talk us through it. Give us the contours of this deal. Yeah, you're absolutely right. He was kept up to date on negotiations really by the hour, specifically by his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, along with the U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer. In the end, they decided, as you said, to make some concessions to Canada. What 